so I just noticed the level's called Koopa Canyon. That's actually probably the most uninspired name for a Mario desert. Like, seriously. Really? Man! You think you know a guy, and then you just tell him, Oh man, I'm gonna shit all down over your game! Eight rocky red coins. Oh, that makes you want some rocky road ice cream. Just gotta remember to take in those lactase enzymes, and then I'm good to go! Alright. Mind the sign, it's telling you not to fall your pants off. You can just forget me getting that dragon coin there. I'm not even going to bother. I know, it's like, but you get two extra coins if you want max coins. It's like, uh, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Hopefully this doesn't render when I'm doing this, but, um... Sometimes when the res of a window is not quite conformed to how the game looks on a bigger res. Basically, it's a case of if you're, like, off by one and then there's a line that's, like, coping by scanning it. Oh, wait! I still live! I guess as long as I don't fall down there, but I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to have to. But maybe I can recover! Come on, Mario! Oh! Jeez, look at the stress I'm putting on my poor legs. And that's how you survive the slower quicksand when you're on a fucking hill. Okay. Can I make it back, though? This could be the greatest mistake of my career. Alright, doesn't seem too bad. Let me just double jump up there. Invisible wall, curse you! Bullshit. I'm sorry, there was no way... <laughs> My rehearsal did not tell me that there was an invisible wall there. Fuck. Oh well. What do you mean by rehearsal? Well, I've tried this game. I've played this game many times. Is what I mean by rehearsal. Even though normally now, on when I'm doing games I have not done yet, there will be a rehearsal phase. For sure. It's the one you don't see. It's the one where I work on- it's the one where actually the most work goes. It's to actually figure out what I'm supposed to fucking do. Dude, oh god! Oh shit. Well, this is not the kind of Koopa that releases a shell, sadly. That would have been very helpful. Oh, perhaps you've seen the piranha plants that you can't actually attack because they're- they don't have a sleeping animation, so you're not going to get coins out of them. I mean, I'm sure if you could find a way, maybe, but no. Just pretend they're not there. Palm trees. Even though this is Core 7, it's more like a Course 8, if you know what I'm saying. That's okay with me. Alright. Um, somehow... Despite this, well, it does say canyon, so okay, water level. But we're using desert music. I mean, oases don't tend to have a sort of river in them. But all right, let's do one of these South American deserts then. Yeah, you know what's weird about a South American desert being next to the ocean? Our Earth is an awesome Earth. It hates that we abuse it. Yes, jump on the stone. The stone of eternity! Actually, there's an opposite of the stone of eternity. I'm trying to remember what it is. Yeah, there's actually an opposite of the stone of eternity, and for the life of me, I can't remember it! Where am I going to get my Captain Marvel lore now? Yeah, I did watch the Black Adam movie, actually. I specifically... Per like, the funny thing is that, you know... The rock is actually, like, you know, the right appearance, obviously, for that character, and, like, you know, his kind of acting chops. But the thing is, is that, though, you don't really see him as Black Adam, you just see the rock as the rock. I mean, okay, that's not even what I consider to be the problem with that movie, other than just, like, the writing to account to be like, yeah, that's the protagonist, except he's not really supposed to be a good guy, 
And that's where the writing of the movies should reflect. Where people just accept him as a hero when you know he's clearly not. Like, I wish they had just, like, understood that. That he's not really supposed to be good. When the universe is just, like, revolving around him to be like, Yeah, it's okay. I absolutely pref liked Pierce Brosnan being Dr. Fate, though. That was amazing. So, of course, they think, yeah. That was amazing, though. Holy shit, guys. I need more Pierce Brosnan's Dr. Fate series stat. That was so good. My fucking god. I didn't even know I liked old Pierce Brosnan. I already like old Timothy Dalton. I mean, why the fuck not? Dude, this is great. This is some good shit. Four... Former James Bonds makes for great roles of random shit. Same with former Doctor Who's. Just take a look at fucking, uh... Forgot his name already. But he's got a generic name. Oh yeah, Matt Smith. Take a look at the random shit Matt Smith does. Even when he's in like a... You know, an average to bad movie. It doesn't matter. You're there for Matt Smith. Or fucking, um... Peter Capaldi. He's doing some random good shit too. Even though he technically already did. So, there's all that nonsense. And, of course, you know David Tennant's doing a lot of good shit. He already was doing a lot of good shit. And has not stopped doing good shit. And he's now continuing to do good shit. Because the writers of Doctor Who are on some kind of drugs. And, you know, shit like that just happens when you have the longest running series of anything. For real. Not just the longest running series, the longest running season. The longest running series when it comes to time travel shenanigans. Which, you know, must put a lot of stress on writers when it comes to continuity. So I'm not surprised by all the output or just like whether it's good or not. I don't know how much that matters. I think you're just there for like the impact. But yeah. Who knows anymore? <laughs> Who knows, man? I no longer knows. How did I get on that topic? Oh, right, I was randomly talking about the Rock of Eternity because that's what that rock looks like. So, <laughs> you'd think that'd be weird, but it doesn't specifically look like that. Huh? And the other two red coins are just over there. So, why don't we just long jump towards them? Okay! Now this is epic! Yeah, finger snap! Another piranha plant. That dragon coin is not too weird to get. You could probably go for it if you wanted to. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but if you don't run the risk of dying, so I mean, by all means. Oh boy, bullshit slopes again! Perhaps if I do this technique... Okay, I will just uh, try it from the other spot then. I could make a triple jump happen there. Yeah! Woo! Now, oh, here's the funny part. Did you watch where the camera was, what that star is? I know exactly where it is. Time for a leap of faith! Ah! Oh! oh, I would have given myself bonus points if I just, like, went right into it instantly, but... Yeah, it's just right there. Yeah, rock your road! Only on this side of the Ben & Jerry's aisle. There's a shit ton of Ben & Jerry's flavors, for whatever reason. Yeah. You know what? Here's a funny th idea. Alright, Ben and Jerry's, hear me out. All your ice cream flavors, make them all hex codes associated with them. Or like a QRA code, or QRA codes, like... I, I want to think that people are, like, collecting Ben and Jerry's ice cream boxes to see all the different flavors they've made. Mm -hmm. Well, since I wasn't paying attention, I get to be surprised about what I'm doing next. Except there's only a couple other things left to do. So I actually know what's next, and that's the, uh... Ooh, the Tornado Star! That's probably one of the more interesting stars in this game. I have to actively use the tornadoes that are in a desert level, normally, to get around. Yeah. So let's do that. This is... It's less of a practice of knowing how to use them, which is just, you know, kind of get them as high as you can. But sort of a just... Where exactly am I going with this? I was not high enough? Let's try it again. Tornado mechanics, as taught to you by the Mario. Tornado Twister. Whoa! 
Okay, let's try over here. Yeah, that looks good. Wait a minute. Yes! Nice. Here we go again! Oh. Uh. That did not quite work. Shit. Well, no big loss since I didn't take any damage. It's not like I was going to fly over the quicksand area either, so... I was just going around the side, around the outside. All these tornadoes. They're in my side. What kind of tornadoes do you think they are? Are they F3s? F2s? F4s? Yeah, there's like an intensity rating for tornadoes. Believe it or not! You know what's the worst thing? A fire-nado. It's, it's basically someone set a flame something and then this tornado picked it up and it's just like... I don't know. I, I wonder how it gets perpetuated by the wind too, but I guess if it goes fast enough, that shit don't matter. There's another one! Would you believe there's one more, and it's to get me to that star. There it is. I'm just gonna let it spawn again, but... Yeah, let it spawn again. It goes to NATO! Ouchie! Super Mario sponsored boy. I'd say the real... The real creator of the hack would be Skilox. I mean, there's the credits too that you saw on the first sign in the first video. Thank those people too. But this this is definitely mostly Skilox's project. I haven't seen him do much since, but I think he has tried to do a version of this for Mario 64 DS. I don't know if it's out, it might be. But it's like basically what you'd expect. Except it's 150 stars or something. So it has these little extra courses and extra objectives in the original. Yeah. So I'm thinking of taking a look at that personally. I don't know if like because I don't I don't I don't know my opinion of recording DS games, okay? To be honest with you. I want to. There's a lot of good DS games out there for me. And I don't mean just the Mario stuff. There's options like uh like this one game that's like one screen is Tetris Attack and the other screen is a play Yeah, it was like Henry Hatsworth or something. That game is kick-ass. Alright. So for this one, we're going to have to collect five secrets. I, I learned something today about these homing amps, which is sometimes I can be safe by crouching. Believe it or not. You didn't get me that time. But if he's about to just dive into you, try crouching! Ugh. Did you notice when I was getting electrocuted, I kind of looked a bit like Metal Mario texture? Nice. Unfortunately, it does not make these jumps easier, but at least lets me last longer. Ugh, see? Do, do, do. The coins mark where the secrets are, thankfully. So I don't have to worry about that. But now I have to get the star somehow. Give it to me. Give it to me, Neil. Uh-huh. Oh. Neil Diamond, grant me your strength. Neil Armstrong, grant me your arm strength. Oh, shit. That was very close. Oh, no. Oh, don't tease me, bro. Oh, I'm relevant. All right, sweet. And that's it for that desert. Not a big, not a big surprise. I should, I should just shit out more Mario 64 videos all the damn time. I'm already thinking about it. But that's going to come after doing a lot of other crap, as you know. So desert over. Next up, we have a big forest level, which is also easy. Yeah. The hard levels don't start until after Course 8, in my opinion. Good luck!